Today was the fifth day of the hearing into the alleged misconduct of two Thunder Bay police officers during the 2015 death investigation of Stacy DeBungy. One of the accused officers took the stand today and a private investigator hired by the DeBungy family to look into Stacy's death was also questioned. Vasilios Bellows reports. Staff Sergeant Sean Harrison seen here on the left and Detective Sean Whipple seen here on the right both faced charges of neglect of duty and discreditable conduct. During Monday's proceedings, Harrison, who has already pleaded guilty to neglect of duty but not guilty to discreditable conduct, took the stand. Harrison was questioned about his investigation efforts after DeBungie's body was found, stating there was no evidence to suggest foul play or criminality during his time investigating the sudden death. He also stressed the fact DeBungie was Indigenous played no role in his mindset during the investigation saying he has worked on nine homicides involving a member of the Indigenous community, all of which resulted in charges. Harrison also says he did not approve or agree with the second media release being sent out before a post-mortem of DeBungie's body was conducted, believing it made a non-criminal conclusion before the autopsy. Harrison did say a mistake he made with the case was not talking to private investigator David Perry, who was hired by the DeBungie family as they were concerned about police efforts in the case. Perry, who also testified on Monday, said he attended police headquarters after conducting an investigation and interviews over the course of a few days in 2015 to share information he believed would help investigators. Perry asked for Harrison, who is not available, and did not reach out to the private investigator afterwards. Perry testified that he left the station with the impression no one involved with DeBungie's death investigation was going to contact him. He also said he was horrified with the way DeBungie's brother Brad was treated at the station when trying to get information on the case. Perry has 27 years experience with the Toronto Police Service, mostly in investigations, and stated officers must enter a sudden death investigation with an open mind. The hearing will resume Tuesday morning at the Prince Arthur Hotel, with DeBungie family lawyer Asha James able to question Staff Sergeant Sean Harrison. After that, it is expected Detective Sean Whipple who has pleaded not guilty to both charges, will take the stand. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.